Senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson joins us right now with some tips. And Sharon, there are some changes that are taking place. What are they? Well, some of the biggest changes have to do with millennials. A lot of credit card companies want to cater to that affluent millennial that wants an experience more than just buying a bunch of stuff. So they're looking at how they can reward them for fancy dinners or music festivals. Huh. And they're partnering with companies like Uber to provide them those experiences. We're talking about American Express, City, Barclays. Chase really started this with doing this catering to that group, and now it's taken off. So what, uh, what should I look for if I'm actually measuring credit cards? Uh, how, how do I go about doing that? Well, a lot of people are trying to decide between should I get a cashback card or should I get a travel rewards card? And mm -hmm. there are some big differences. With a cashback card, you're going to get a base amount for every purchase, maybe say 1%, maybe more. Uh -huh. And then you're also going to get maybe more back for certain categories of spending on groceries or spending at gas stations. And then also you may get f more cash back during certain times of the year for spending on certain categories. So it's really changed a lot. And what's also changed with cash back cars is that you can use some of that, those points or that cash back to pay your bill right away. You know, I, I always kind of looked at it as just wanting the cash back because I don't want to have to try and figure out uh, some rewards program or risk not using the points or anything that goes down. Most people yeah. want cash back, but those who want travel rewards cards are looking at the fact that they may be able to get one point equaling one cent. They'll add all that up. They'll be able to take a free trip. They'll be able to get free luggage or something. And they may also be able to get double points for flights or hotel stays. And if there's some airline or hotel that you stay at frequently, that can make a lot of sense. So, so it's worth it if you're willing to go through and actually do the work behind it. Well, here are the steps you should take. I mean, yeah. you really need to know what you're going to be spending your money on and what you really want to get for it. So if you do a ton of grocery shopping, you're not traveling that much. You got a lot of small kids. You got a big, yeah. <laughs> big family to feed. Right. Then you probably want to get that cash back card. But if you're a frequent traveler and you are going to rack up a lot of points for and a lot of miles or whatever, then you may want to get the travel card. The thing that you need to remember is when it comes to an annual fee, there are many cards out there that can offer rewards with no annual fee, but the travel cards usually have the biggest annual fee to get the most lucrative rewards. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is it worth it? Is it worth the rewards? Is it worth the annual fee or not? Those are the... Well, the thing you have to think about are some of the pitfalls that can be with those cards. And one of the biggest ones is carrying a balance month to month. You want to get right. these rewards, but you're not paying your bill in full every time it comes. Sure. And so that doesn't make any sense because the average credit card interest rate is 17%. But oh. for a rewards card, it could be 24% or higher. So oh that's not gosh. something you want to do. The other thing is some of the travel rewards cards in particular, but, but many of them will say in the first three months, in order to get this sign-up bonus, spend $3,000 to $4,000. Do not overspend just to get this rewards card. Right. And the last thing I'd say people need to think about is that annual fee. Actually do the math, figure out if it makes sense if you're going to get a, a free companion ticket on, on a flight or right. you're going to get some other services that you're going to use a lot, then it could make sense to pay a $95 annual fee. But if you're not going to use it, don't, don't do waste it. the money. Don't do it.